Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Um, surprise, surprise, not take one. Um, I won't go too much into detail, but um, the better half recently got a new phone, so I thought I would try recording it, uh, recording the video using that one to check out the camera. Really good camera, and um, as is the case with a good camera, um, the file size was like 1.5 gigabytes, and it was an 11 minute video. Um, yeah, there's no way I'm going to spend like a couple of hours uploading a 1.5 gigabyte video on YouTube that goes for 11 minutes and get like about 10 views. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense. So uh, yeah, I think I know what I want to say about this beer. So we can keep this video short and sweet, he says. And today's beer is from the Hopperbroi Brewery. And it's the Fogel Vuid, which is um, basically Vuid is the Bavarian word for wild in a nutshell. And uh, I'll put a link down below if I remember when I upload this to because um, here in Germany, in Bavaria, they have like different words that people outside of Bavaria in Germany don't use. And you'll sometimes even come across people visit in Bavaria and not even know, even though they speak the same language essentially, what the hell people are talking about. So um, yeah, it's just it's just interesting how some it's sort of like with like Wales and Scotland when people speak Welsh, uh, it's nothing like that at all. It's completely different. But yeah, this is basically an IPA, clocking in at six point five percent with an IBU count of forty eight, and uh, it's actually got quite a selection of hops with Cascade. Magnum, Amarillo, Citra, and Mandarina Bavaria. So um, a lot of typical IPA hops, but there are a couple in there um, that you might not necessarily see. Uh, you might do in the German brewed IPAs and that sort of thing. But yeah, beautiful artwork, as is always. And uh, I think this guy is essentially um, uh, sort of like a gypsy brewer, uh, from what someone told me once. I'm not too sure. I can't you know, confirm that. And I apologise if you are watching this, um, uh, if that isn't the case. But if you want to find out more about this guy and what he does, links are down below. Yeah, I've covered a couple of the Hopperbroi brew uh, beers on the channel before. And uh, yeah, they, they've been solid. And uh, the fact that I can get these really cheap from Beretta, uh, you know, it's cheap, accessible German craft beer. There's actually quite a lot that I have drunk in the past, but I've never got around to reviewing. And uh, this is one that I haven't actually drank up until today. So as you can see, uh, I've polished off uh, a nice majority of the beer. Uh, beer in the glass is a nice amber colour with some very slight brownish hues in there. It's got a nice clarity to it, and uh, when I initially poured it, it had about two fingers worth of ever so off-white, fluffy head that stood its ground. And uh, even after about 20 minutes, you know, it's still there. It's, you know, carbonation's really nice, not too much, but, you know, there's enough there to keep the beer lively, let's just say. So on the aroma... You do pick up those hops in there, but it is primarily a sort of like caramel toffee malt that you pick up in there. Yeah, like a, a toffee fruit sweet. That's how I'd describe it, if there are any toffee fruit sweets out there. But yeah, you've got like this sort of like sweet, like um, whiskey sort of aroma without the alcohol smell. Like Jim Bean honey, if you've ever smelt that. But those hops are there, and they provide like a bitterness on the aroma. So, uh, yeah, it smells nice. Um, with all those hops in there, I was expecting a bit more of a pungent aroma. And I will say that when I actually opened it and gave it a sniff on the neck of the bottle, it was a bit more fruity, a bit more tropical than it was. Well, a lot more tropical on the aroma than it was now. But on the aroma in the glass, it smells like a, an English style IPA. So let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. And just like the aroma, I am primarily getting that malt 
character there. Not too sure what malts they've used, but I'm picking up a slightly sweet caramel, almost chocolate malt in there. And that also, it's in the mouthfeel as well. It's a little bit heavier than most IPAs, but not heavy. It's more like on towards the higher end of medium. So I'm guessing that malt base is really, you know, bulking this beer up. And you do pick up that on the, on the flavour. The only real hop character you get is maybe a slight lemon sort of flavour. Like a sour lemon flavour. A little bit of honey in there as well. Uh, not really tropical, it's more piney. Uh, a little bit more grassy, a little bit more spicy. And uh, the IBU count is 48, but it tastes, on my palate anyway, a little bit more than that. But it's not intrusive, it's not offensive on the palate. And the beer itself works really, really nicely. There's nothing too complicated about it. Um, and to me, it tastes, and I'm not sure what this recipe is based on, it tastes more like a British sort of IPA. But yeah, it's really nice. Um, it's not an IPA I'd go for um, in the summer when it's hot outside, but I'd happily drink it if I was presented it. It's a high quality beer, don't get me wrong. But it's that malt and caramel sort of flavour that I'm picking up. Um, that makes me want to drink this more when I want an IPA in the autumn or the winter. And at 6.5%, uh, you're not really getting that alcohol at all. Uh, maybe a slight, slight warming sensation as it goes down. But again, it let, goes into that like having an IPA in the autumn, you know, in a cold autumn evening. And you want something that's going to warm you up, but you've got a nice flavour. This be a good one. You do pick up that hop primarily in the bitterness at the end and maybe some slight fruity tones. But if you like your malty, chocolatey, um, toffee sort of IPAs, then this is definitely one to go for. And the fact that when you go into the Hopper Broy website, um, there's English information there. Um, I'm guessing there are uh, some places that do import this for the uh, market outside of Germany. But yeah, very high quality beer indeed, but again, not one that I would rush out to pick um, compared to other ones, especially with the weather that we've got right now. But in terms of rating, it's easily an 8 out of 10. So, uh, if you want to find out more about this guy and the beers that he brews, links are down below. Again, apologies if I completely misrepresented um, how big or how small the brewery may be. Um, but it's definitely no bigger than a microbrewery, and um, yeah. I've had three beers uh, related to this guy, and they've all been really nice. So I'm happy to support people like that here in Germany. And uh, yeah, if you want to find out more about those beers that I have reviewed, the Hopper Broy playlist is down below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you feel like it, and I hope you'll join me with a beer next time. So thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you later.